time, Wolf. It's time. It's time for more GSL up and down matches. We've seen some pretty good games already today, haven't we? Yeah, we have. And that's one fifth of the games we're going to be seeing today. Yeah, probably. I mean, there's a potential for what, 10 games today? 10 games, possibly. Man. Well, here's our next one. It is OGS Supernova back again after his win against Alicia. This time he's facing off against Incredible Miracles Yoda. So it's going to be a TVT on Crossfire SE. TVT, man. TVT. TVT. GOM TVT. GOM TVT. We've been having a lot of TVTs here at GOM TV. Yep. But uh, that's just because Terrans are doing well. Well, you know, good news for people who aren't maybe so interested in TVT. Only two Terrans qualified in the Code A qualifiers this last weekend out of everybody. So a lot more Zergs and Protoss getting infused into Code A and possibly the GSL as well. So maybe we'll start to see a little bit more of a bounce. Terrans are a really popular race in Korea right now. So. So there you go. There you go. That's how it is. We're going to move into the game quite shortly for Mo 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 TVT here at the GSL with Doan Wolf. All right, so down at the bottom of our map, Crossfire is our Red Terran from the team OGS. Already has a win today. Can he make it too? He is. OGS Supernova. Supernova. I never noticed before, but that he capitalizes the N and the V in his name. But not up at the top of the screen, only in our intro. He likes to stylize it different ways. I guess so. Well, here's a guy with some interesting capitalization as well from the planet Dagobah. He is... I am Yoda! I don't know why he didn't make his name Yoda. Didn't. I am. That would have been much better. That would have made a lot more sense, man. Yeah. That's how you'd say it in Korean sentence structure as well, too. So... I don't know. Kind of kind of like Yoda, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to Pepsi and G Skill and Ole Ebook for sponsoring the GSL. Well, and I want to talk about what's going on here. Supernova went say. gas first, but his barracks he's making far, far forward. Now, yeah. most likely, this is going to be just for scouting. Well, there's right. a potential for all sorts of different brushes. We could, he could like make a reaper out of it, but I think it most likely he's just going to fly it. This is something that people are doing more and more in TVT because they don't need that barracks. They just don't need it. Yeah, a lot of Terrans going mech now and kind of like they saw in Brood War, you would make your first barracks just to be able to make the factory and then scout with it. It's got a lot of hit points. Yeah. You can do that. You can fly. Can't get walled off and stuck outside. Yep. I've, I've got this... Whoa, there's a factory there too. That's he may be doing the reactor hellion thing and reactor goes down as well. So he's doing the ah, forward okay. reactor hellion build. Interesting. That's very interesting. If his opponent doesn't wall, which in this case he didn't, you can do a ton of damage with this. Yeah, I mean, you run in there with like six Hellions before they really have much, and that is uh, a pretty quick end of the game right there. I love where he's putting these buildings, too. They're off of any sort of normal scouting path. Can't be yeah. seen by any Zalnaga Tower. Yeah, just right outside the vision of the Watchtowers, like you were yeah. saying, far from any path. The only reason Yoda would check there is if he was like trying to check the third base over there. That wouldn't make any sense for him to check. But there is a Reaper coming out. He may decide to huh. do a little bit of extra scouting. Well, that'd be a pretty good idea. And Reapers do okay against Hellions. Oh, so look at that. It's Starport. He may actually just be planning on making a medevac and just drop them in quicker, possibly. It's, I don't know. That's potentially going to be the case sometimes. It doesn't end up being the follow-up because people will wall to stop this. Right, right. Um, we saw Ganji actually do something similar to this recently, and then he just barely got blocked out and used medevacs to lift them in. Now, no scouting at all yet for I'm Yoda. So he has no idea that this is going. And here's the barracks. He's actually going to land it right in Yoda's base to try to draw fire, possibly. Nope, deciding not to land instead. And some Hellions there. They're going to need to be careful. One Reaper does go one Hellion, but nice micro there, and Supernova takes it out. Supernova's got these really interesting openings today. Yeah, he really does, man. Now I know why I like watching and this And he's guy. actually going to be following this up with Banshee, as that's uh, what he's made yeah. his star port for. Nice control here by Yoda, bringing some SCVs to repair his Hellions. He's trying to keep up in Hellion production, but obviously that's just not possible. Yep. Oh. SCVs being taken out here as the Hellions fall. Four nice Hellions against one, but 
not splitting his Hellions very well is Supernova, but now he's killing so many SCVs. I think this might just end the game, Doa. I think you're right. Well, SCVs coming off the line, but then they're like, wait a minute, we don't want to fight these. And then they try to split, but he's trying to keep that Hellion healed right now, but just oh. not going to work. He's going to lose so many SCVs either way. Yeah, and with more Hellions rallying in, I don't think he's going to hold this much longer. Even Whoa. the SCV coming in. Here's the thing, is that even if he holds out the SCV, the Banshee's going to finish him Yeah, the Banshee sure. is definitely going to put some quick work here. He didn't even finish his own starport, so he can't make a Viking. Yeah. And the SCV for Supernova is helping out here a little bit now. GG! Wow. And Supernova with a quick 2-0, man. Six minutes and 36 seconds in that game, and that's Blizzard minutes, man. That's fast. That's like a five-minute game. So Supernova... With two wins already today in the up and down matches, two very creative openings that we've seen from him. This guy's awesome. I like it. Yeah, I mean, we've seen people do this build to great effect on two player maps. Yeah. We've seen it on Daybreak and now on Crossfire. It's a pretty solid build. You can catch people a lot off guard. If someone goes gas first and then wow. makes a Reaper, then it's very difficult to hold if they don't. I mean, most people won't make a reactor on their factory. That's very unusual. So you'll yeah. always have more Hellions than they will. If they don't wall off, they kind of just lose. Pretty much. That's kind of what we saw. So that's why a lot more people have started to wall off recently. Did you see how fast Yoda ran out of the studio there? He just like jetted past us. I didn't see that. He was too fast. It was like he was on Luke's back and they were training or something. He like flipped over the desk and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he can't be too happy after a loss like that. I mean, that's that's difficult. He wants to get into Code S, obviously. So a loss like that is, is kind of tough. Yeah, it's I'd hard, to, it's hard yeah. to bear a loss like that. He did a build that's actually really safe going into the Reapers after the gas yeah. first just to scout, but unfortunately just didn't work out for him. Got a wall off against that type of build, and you know it's not like he could have really done anything better than what he did. He repaired his Hellions and he That's micro them really well, and actually Supernova's Hellion micro wasn't even as good. Like His Hellions were lined up a lot of the time. He just had more stuff, yeah. Just I two mean, Hellion production versus one. That's well, how it's going to be. Yeah, Yoda played as best he could have, really. And then the starport didn't finish because he killed the SV building that, so the Banshee would have just finished the game anyways. Yeah. Well, next game, we're moving on. It is going to be Zenex Beyond versus Slayer's Alicia. So it's really important for both these guys because both Absolutely. these guys are currently 0-1, both losing their match. Yeah, and uh, like we mentioned earlier, if you go down by two games, that is basically it. It's really tough to come back after losing two games in this format. Yeah, you'd have to win every other game and hope that others lost more. Um, if you lose twice, you're pretty much written out. You still have a yeah. chance, but it's very difficult. Well, in the Super Tournament, Alicia won 2-1 versus Beyond. Yeah, he was the chosen one, man. He was, if I remember yeah. correctly, he was the last pro in the round of eight. I think there were two in the round of 16 that season. Whenever you say chosen one, I like think of that Kung Pao movie. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I actually don't one know. Where they, really? You haven't seen that? Where no, they I dump the guy's that. face over the main character in like an old kung fu movie? And they change all the voices around? It's I, really gotta, I gotta look that up. We'll, we'll watch it sometime. Sounds if I good. quoted it, it would just make me sound even weirder than I usually sound right now. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll spare you. Alright, spare you that. Well, we're not gonna spare you guys this. You guys have to watch Yun versus Alicia. You're Don't look like away. It. It's the up and down matches. That's right.